my friends we've done sisu the dragon and you can see if you missed it, the video over here otherwise let's stay here as we're going to make raya the beautiful and powerful however still fragile uh, character from raya and the last dragon from disney also, I've prepared a PDF for you, which is in the description box, and uh, where I'm going to show you my system to make heads. But now let's jump in onto the video so that we can start making the beautiful Raya. As usually, first of all, we're going to start from the bottom and uh, the first thing that we're going to do are the bits. And what we need to do is uh, to make a quite thick sausage, then fold in half, cut it, so that we're going to have uh, two bits of the same size. And then roll it again. Now, what we want to do is uh, roll it here, leaving just uh, one and a half centimeters to make the part where the foot is and then we want the other part of the boot a little bit wider than where the ankle is going to be we're going to make a cut and fold the boot and then we want to press it between our finger to make a little bit more square as you can tell the part of the foot is at the moment too big so what we want to do is cut a piece out of it but diagonally now we can make this part a little bit more nicer and what we want is to make this part going towards the top and curve it a little bit also we want to make the part of the heel just slightly coming out like this at the top in the middle of the boot we want to make a little bit pointed and then we're going to draw two lines in the middle of it What we need to do next is to cut some um, short strip of uh, light pink fondant and put it on top of the boot, making it pointed and then go all around it. At the front instead, we're going to add kind of uh, a cross shape, this is what we want to make instead and then tidy up and making it look a little bit more tidy and not like mine at the moment in order to insert the trousers inside the boot we need to make a hole using a ball tool and finally we need to add some graces by the ankle now let's start making the pants and we're going to starting from a big chunky cylinder of green fondant we're gonna cut it not all the way through but just three quarters of it so that we're going to have both legs and then we're going to run them each one between our palms at this point we need to engrave some lines which are again some greases on the trousers and afterwards we can fill the trousers inside the boots pressing them really gentle because i want to make raya sitting with their crossed legs i'm going to kind of fold her legs and put her in a sitting position so let's put her onto a dummy really nicely and leave it there for the time being while we're going to start making the body instead as usual we're going to start from a ball then we're going to make a cone and we're going to press it from the top using our right palm we're going to press the right side of it and flatten the left instead then we're gonna pick it up and we're going to roll this part which is the neck so you want to make this part nice and round let's put it back onto our board and i'm not sure if you're gonna come out with the same thing but my neck was actually too long so i'm going to cut it and now what we need to do is uh, to just give a really slight shape of the breast drawing a line in the middle at the top of the body and then 
trying to make it as a little bit round in this area now we need to add some clouds on and the top that Raya has is a yellow with just a tiny bit of orange so we're going to roll it first then cut any extra and then put it on top of the body to make the uh, pattern that she has onto the body i'm just uh, going to draw lots of lines using the craft knife so that is going to be a lot easier and quick to make then we need to add uh, two more pieces of uh, fondant which they're going to be uh, kind of crossed around the neck and again we need to draw some uh, horizontal line and now let's add the other side as well now that the body has been done we can put it on top of the trousers however first of all we need to cut a straight line from the trousers and then afterwards we can add the body the top body onto it Next, we're going to make the belt out of some brown fondant and we need to make one long stripe which is going to go all around the body and the other one, as you can see, it has a kind of octagon ends, kind of hexagonal ends. So we can put the belt first and remove the extra fondant and afterwards we can add Add the other two pieces and then we need to cut the extra fondant again to make the buckle we're going to add a small piece of beige fondant to make the vest we're going to first of all roll some dark brown fondant cut it straight so this is going to be the bottom of the vest and then we can wrap it up onto the body Check even if the sides are too long or not and if they are you need to cut them. Then you can put it again onto the body, pinch at the top and cut any extra out. As you can see the shoulders are not really nice at the moment so what we need to do is to flat them a little bit and making them a little bit more going out also where the arms are going to be you need to make some holes so that it's going to be much easier when we're going to insert them to make the pattern that it's on the vest what i'm going to use is uh, this piece of the uh, of my craft knife because i don't know if you can tell but it has a really nice pattern on it and i always try to use anything that i have already at home which is the best thing really and and you don't need to buy anything extra so what we need to do now is uh, to start making the arms and we're going to start from a long piece of fondant then we're gonna fold it and cut in half and then we're going to roll it where the wrist is going to be and then we're gonna roll it where instead the elbow is going to be as well so we're going to fold it make it a little bit more square and making it all thinner as well then we're going to kind of taking a triangle out for where the hand is going to be and press it to making it a little bit more flat now we can cut a small piece so we can make the thumb and then make the other three cuts to make the other fingers but i um, don't want to go all the way through just a tiny bit so that the fingers are going to stay all together and it's going to be much easier if we do it this way at the top of the arm we're going to add a small piece of brown fondant remove any extra and instead by the wrist we're going to add a long strip that we're going to wrap it all around and now let's move on making the head which is my favorite part 
Also, don't forget that for you, I've made a PDF on where I show you my system on how I make heads. So we're going to start from an oval. Then in the middle of it, we're going to press a little bit with our pinky and using our indexes, we're going to push the fondant in the middle to make the nose. To make the notches, we're going to use the pointed tool and make two holes. And now let's make a cut underneath the nose, between the nose and the chin to make the mouth. And uh, what we need to do to make the top lip is to rub this part a little bit with our finger. Instead to make the bottom lip, we're going to push the lip the fondant a little bit and uh, shape it a little bit. On each side of the lip we're going to make two holes to make the mouth look nicer as well. So now that we've done the head, nose and mouth we can move on making the eyes. First of all we're going to start drawing them with a small ball tool. We need to press uh, the inside of the eye and making it all nice and flat so that we're going to have some room for adding the white fondant afterwards. Now we can start adding the white fondant inside of it and uh, what you need to do is uh, to make it as similar as possible of the same shape of the eye. Before painting the iris, the best thing that I discovered um, is to use a drinking straw so that we have uh, the basic round shape just on our eye. And now it's going to be much easier for us to uh, paint the iris and here I'm using some brown gel paste from Sugar Flare. First we want to paint all the outside of the iris and then on the inside with a lighter shades of brown on the inside as well. Instead to paint the pupil we're going to use some black gel paste and you can either use uh, your brush with a really tiny tiny end or otherwise you can use a small pointed tool. One thing that totally is going to change the eye, I always think, is to add a small line all around the eye and I think it makes a big big difference. Now let's move on making the eyebrows and uh, to do them I'm using the brown gel paste and what you want to paint is a thin line which is just above the eye. Finally, we need to paint the lips as well. And here I'm using a mix between um, red and white and just a tiny bit of orange as well. At the moment, I'm not very keen on this uh, chin. So I'm going to cut it and make it a little bit smaller and then rub it to remove any imperfections. I was nearly forgetting but we need to add some dots between the iris and the pupils as well. And to give more color on the face we're going to use some pink petal dust and finally we can add the head onto the head. The, the rest of the body. All right then, now we can add the arm first onto the body and then the head as well. Now, before adding the hair, what we wanna do is to add some extra black fondant behind on top of the head. I'm going to start from a bold, I'm gonna flatten it and afterwards we can put it onto the head like this but be careful before doing this you want to make sure that the head and the whole body is nice and dry and it's quite hard as well then we're going to roll some black fondant cut it straight at the top and then a little bit more round um, at the bottom as well before putting it onto the head, we need to draw some wavy lines onto this piece of fondant so that the hair are going to look a little bit more realistic. So only afterwards we can put it uh, onto the head like this, pinch it at the top really well and then cut the extra fondant out. And this is 
the easiest way that I know to add head onto a cake topper. Also what we want to do is adding some few pieces of hair so we're going to add some really tiny pieces and at the end I like when they're a little bit more curved like this. Also Raya has uh, really nice hair at the top and what we need to do is uh, to make three thin pieces of uh, black fondant and make a bread. I'm sure that everyone knows how to make a bread so you need three pieces as I said before and then you're going to alternate uh, in the middle. Once you have your long braid uh, what you want to do is cut the ends of it so they're going to be nice and tidy and then cut the braid in half. Put them one next to each other and then put it at the top of Raya's head which is going to look really really nice. Finally we need to add some cocoa powder onto the pans with no water or anything we want it to be dry so that we're going to get this kind of uh, color onto the trousers and then the same we want to do onto the boots but at the end on the boots we want to add some green as well, dark green, which is really, really nice. If you enjoyed this video, you definitely don't want to miss my Disney playlist. Also, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so that you're going to be notified anytime a new video is out. It's all for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.